so good to be back welcome back to my channel my name is Satson in today's video we're going to look at string formatting in Python so there are quite a number of ways that we can format in Python and so depending on what you're trying to achieve you could choose any one of these ways that we're going to be talking about today but before I get into that I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and this will go a long way in helping this channel to grow and so without much further ado let's get into our tutorial all right so the the first way of formatting that we're going to look at is what we call concatenation concatenation means joining two parts and so we have one part and another part and then we can join them together and so in python we use the plus sign to concatenate two values and so right now we're trying to concatenate this string here to this variable here one of these variables so i'm going to use x over here so if i save and run you can see down here it says can only concatenate string to string not to integer so how do we overcome this we can then type cast this by using the str method which is a built-in python method and so we are converting this x this hundred into a string and so if i save and run you can see now we have our value right here this will present a lot of problems we might have our data interfered with and so we don't want to be working with this type of formatting uh, you want to try and avoid concatenation and so this brings us to other ways that you can use to to format your strings and so we have the old way of formatting over here the old way of formatting you have to use what we call placeholders so to create a placeholder you use a percent and a letter like i uh, for integer and d for integer this, this is a placeholder it's called a format specifier it specifies the format of the value that you want to place here and so percent d would be for integers and so i have to do outside the quotation marks you have to then specify the value that you want to inject here so i'll say i want the percent x you also have to specify it as percent and then the name of the variable our variable is x and so percent x so if i save and run now you can see it says the number is 100 so this one here this is powerful this way of formatting because it gives you quite a number of options let's say you want to convert this value here into a hexadecimal value or you want to convert it into an octal number or you want to convert it into a binary number you can do this by just changing this format specifier uh, for hexadecimal you have to use x and so if i save and run you can see it tends to 64 for an octal number you have to use o and if i save and run you can see it says 144 this is 100 in base 8 it gives you 144 down here so you have so many options when you use this type of formatting uh, you could also put a space between this is and the number by specifying the space here. Uh, let's say 30. I want 30. And so if I save and run, you can see the 144 has been pushed to the right right here all right so the format method requires us to use the dot format uh, function which is a built-in function it's a string function you can see this is a string and so i'm using it using the dot syntax notation and so i want to format y this time around and the way we then put a placeholder is by using curly brackets like this so if i save and run you can see it says the number is 200 right here so this is the 200 is coming from y which is our value up here and so you can use the format method type let's say you want to convert this into binary you can say colon b and then save and run you see the number has been converted into a binary here you can also do the same for hexadecimal by using x and run you can see you know, let's say you want 30 spaces and you want this to be binary you could say 30b and then save and run you can see now it's been lined up here is same as 144 right here so f strings for me is the most convenient the easiest way of formatting uh, because you simply have to put an f right here at the beginning and then you put curly brackets and then you pass in the value inside these curly brackets let's say you want that y in here so that's it and if you save and run you see down here it says the number is 200 Same. if you want to convert this into a binary you then have to say colon b and if you save and run you see it turns into a binary number if you also want to put some kind of a space so let's say 30b save and run you see it has been moved right here all right so these are these are the basic ways of formatting in python you can use concatenation the old way the format method or f strings and so depending on what you're trying to achieve you could use any one of these methods and, and it will do the trick for you all right so yeah uh, that was a scratch on the surface there is quite a lot more uh, to talk about when it comes to formatting 
uh, string formatting in Python. I hope this video was helpful. If you find it helpful, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye. Uh,